Hello, welcome. I hope you guys are doing good. Today's reading is the person on your mind. What assumptions have they made about you? Um, and there's three groups for you to choose from. Group one, the pink tourmaline. Group two, the fusite crystal. Group three, uh, the rose quartz. Okay, so group one, two, and three. If you need to pause the video for a moment uh, to take some time to choose your group, feel free, but I will see you guys in your reading, okay? Hello, welcome. If you've chosen the first group, the pink tourmaline in this reading is for you, okay? So, the person on your mind, what assumptions have they made about you? We have the lovers upright we have the ace of pentacles upright as well all right so the person on your mind they assume that people find it easy to feel attracted to you uh they as assume a lot of people find a chemistry with you like feel this kind of like chemistry um i don't know if attachment is the right word Like maybe a lot of people find it easy to get along with you as well so there's like always something about you that other people can maybe resonate with or feel connected to um they do assume you have a lot of friends a lot of family connections um that kind of just want to be around you like they do feel like your presence is definitely wanted amongst a lot of people um people that you care about people that care about you Mainly, maybe, maybe people that um, know you, like family, friends, maybe people that you work with, maybe acquaintances as well. Um, but yeah, they think that a lot of people do want your attention or they like when your attention is on them. Uh, they reckon that you have more than one side to you, that you hide these other sides. But they think it's cool that you're able to only show them or other people one side to you and keep other things uh, like private and personal to you. They do assume you have to make difficult decisions uh, like quite often, but you're good at making those decisions. They do uh, assume that you're flirtatious, but they don't think it has anything to do with people being attracted to you. They just think that you're very endearing to them and a lot of other people and that you're generally kind of charming, you know. They assume that people feel more confident when they are around you. They also feel that they're more confident around you or they assume that they would feel more confident around you. For some of you, this could be as time goes, like, as time, what, what is that saying? Like, as time goes by, that doesn't sound right. But they feel like as more time, or maybe more time you guys spend with each other, or as, you know, life moves along, um, they will feel, like, more confident and comfortable around you. Um, for some of you, do they feel that way already? For some of you, if for a lot of you, it doesn't feel like they feel that way already. But they can definitely see that charm uh, that you have on other people and they feel like in time they may feel that same way uh, when it comes to you yeah that makes more sense <laughs> uh, if this is someone you don't know very well they do assume that you're in a relationship they presume you get along with a lot of people and a lot of people get along with you they think that people find you quite fascinating they could find you quite fascinating so they could assume people see you this way because they see you this way you know so yeah they find you quite fascinating so they assume others feel that way too for some of you they could assume that you have feelings for them like again like if this isn't someone you know very well Uh, they assume you're open-minded, flexible, open to experimenting and stuff like that. Um, 
<laughs> for some of you they could presume you're trying to like tempt them or seduce them um they do think that you're a soulmate of theirs someone they feel extremely connected to they also think you're both making progress as well um they assume you're confident and in a secure position in life for some of you they either think you're good at business stuff um or you're running a successful business or you're managing a business a successful business or you're just a part of a successful business um for some of you it could be that they believe you have a new financial opportunity but yeah, they assume that you're really good at manifesting and getting what you want. They also uh, think you're responsible and hardworking as well. Okay, so we have, you look like a shit show. What does it say on the back? And we also have, you are loved. And we have... We have get into the driver's seat of your life. We also have animal, embrace your wild side. We have moralistic, introverted, and versatile. Okay. Um, so this may not, this may be random to people or for some of you, it could just like click and resonate and make sense. But for some of you, um, they assume that you help people clean themselves up. So please only take that if it resonates. Like maybe you help people get back on their feet or you have, you know, done that in the past or you're just that kind of person. Or maybe it's like a part of your job even for some of you guys um but with you are loved i mean like that's literally been coming up throughout the whole reading from the beginning like they definitely assume you are you know loved by a lot of people like they feel like a lot of people feel connected to you so um So yeah, like there's another message about you helping other people, like they assume that you help people take control of their life, maybe certain issues that they're facing, maybe addictions, health um, stuff, but they feel like you really help and support people. Maybe that's another reason why they feel like a lot of people feel connected to you. Um, but yeah, they assume that you help people take control of their life. They definitely that that's crazy moralistic was clarified by judgment um you know they don't think you're moralistic in like a, a bad way or anything but they do feel like you have great judgment maybe you help other people in terms of their judgment but they do feel like you have a lot of morals like they just generally think you are a good person or maybe someone who tries to do uh their best you know they do assume you're quite versatile. Um, I think that came out, not a, a similar message came out at the beginning, but they do feel like there are a lot of uh, sides to you. For some of you, they could think you're versatile in like in the way you dress, um, in your character, or maybe the people that you connect to as well. But yeah, um, they also assume that you're quite wild as well. That you embrace um, your wild side or embrace your fun or adventurous side. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for, for those of you who chose this group. I really do hope it could be helpful, make sense. Um, but I'm wishing you all the best, okay? Please take care. Bye. hello welcome if you've chosen the second group of few side crystals in this readings for you 
the person on your mind what assumptions have they made about you we have the moon upright two of swords upright okay all right so okay random but for some of you they could assume that you like scary things whether it's fun or like more dark like they could think you like things like true crime maybe horror maybe ghost encounters and you know stuff like that or it could be like maybe the opposite and it's like roller coasters something that other people might find scary but you know um they could actually assume you're quite adventurous and outgoing in general even though the moon is upright they do assume that you are an open book um maybe i don't know if it's you know referring to them when they assume you're an open book maybe to other people in your life maybe like friends family stuff like that um but they also think that you hide certain things maybe from them in particular um but overall like the main energy they get from you is that they do assume you're pretty honest they assume that you are you know sensitive and empathetic they do think you feel conflicted about them right now they assume you don't like them very much right now either they think you see them as deceiving you maybe trying to deceive you maybe covering things up and they assume that you feel anxious around them but it doesn't stop you from like being yourself or you know just whatever but they do notice or at least from their perspective they feel like you are anxious around them so yeah, they do think that they make you nervous or they have been making you nervous. They assume that you are sweet and gentle, a little vulnerable. They do assume you have either fantasies about them, again, depending on who you're asking about, or dreams about them. Um, they assume that you're not very confident as well. They, they think that you're unstable at the moment or your life is just a little bit shaky or some area of your life. They also assume that you think they're too vague or not really interested in you, which uh, isn't true, but it feels like they know that they're coming across that way. But it feels like they're planning on changing, being too vague and kind of showing that they are like interested in you, even if you're not asking about a romantic connection, you know. Um, but yeah, they assume that you're very creative, enjoy art, maybe enjoy creating art, um, that you kind of like like maybe artsy or cultural things like museums, modeling, stuff like that. Um, but they assume you have a lot of fears. Uh, fears in general, not necessarily only about them. They do think that you both have a lot of misconceptions about one another. They do assume that you've been trying to ignore them, um, maybe ignoring like some of their behaviours, that you're trying to close your eyes to them almost, like um, like the Two of Swords, you know, how... Is it typically like the Two of Swords is blindfolded? I can't remember, but, um, you yeah, know, but they feel like you're kind of like trying to close your eyes to them or close your eyes to something that they could be um, doing, you know? They do think that they're creating some kind of conflict for you. For some of you, they could think that they're kind of maybe creating conflicts in your home or an environment you share with them or an environment you share with someone else. They do think that you are more emotional than logical when it comes to them. And they could feel like they're the ones making you feel emotional or they assume that they are making you feel that way. They don't really feel like you're able to think clearly when it comes to them. For some of you, they could think you're a bit delusional about them. Uh, 
I don't know why that is. Like, I can't clarify why they would think that. They could also think that you're kind of caught in between a conflict, uh, maybe involving them and someone else. And um, if that is the case, they believe that you aren't on their side. Even though they think you're open-minded, when it comes to them, they definitely assume you're more close-minded. They do feel like you are mentally overwhelmed right now, not necessarily because of them, but other things going on in your life. Or again, like that's something that they are presuming. Um, so yeah, they assume that you aren't honest with them. They also feel like you don't want to see the truth in some situation. Um, for some of you, like they kind of believe maybe you're trying to be um, willfully naive um, in regards to them or something that they're doing. Like they could definitely think you're trying to be hopeful and trying to see um, the positives, you know. So we also have you think someone is lying. We have you need a good cry. We have falling, drop into the deep end of your soul. We also have men upgrade your mental software. <clears throat> Victim, conservative, chatty. So with the you think someone is lying, they definitely assume that you kind of see them as a liar or someone that you can't trust. So they assume you're quite emotional. They do feel like you're in your feelings a lot, um, as opposed to being uh, like logical, you know? For some of you, they could feel like you make decisions based off emotion. And if that is the case, like they definitely like, even if this is someone who benefits from you kind of making decisions from emotions, they definitely, um, even if they benefit from it, they, they, I can't remember what I was going to say. They don't feel like maybe it's doing you a lot of favours. Maybe especially when it comes to them. So they assume you're quite chatty and talkative, um, again, like in general or with certain other people. But when it comes to them, again, like there is that nervousness or, you know, angst um, and like maybe a little bit of a disconnect between you and this person it, or in their mind there is anyway. They could assume you're quite conservative or that you're being that way towards them. They could assume that you think they are victimizing someone, not treating someone right. They also feel like or assume um, that you need to use your head more, again, in their perspective. Well, that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it can be helpful, makes sense. Um, I'm wishing you all the best, okay? Take care. Hello, welcome. If you've chosen the third group, the Rose Quartz, then the readings for you. Okay, so we have Ten of Swords in reverse, Eight of Swords upright. Um, what assumptions have they made about you? Okay, so. All right, so this person, they assume that you're kind of dropping their burdens, like you aren't taking on their problems anymore. Um, they think that you're healing, you're growing in confidence as well. They believe that they don't have the same effect on you as they once did. Like say, for example, you were extremely loyal to them um, in the past. 
uh, they feel like they don't really have that same loyalty from you as they once did you know they they assume that you don't care about them the way you once did as well like they believe that they've lost their grip on you they do think you are trying to move on from them but maybe find it hard or if it's not move on like kind of just find some degree of separation from them you know whether it's emotional physical or you know mental Um, but yeah, they assume that you're healing from them and trying to walk away from any hardships and difficulties. Um, maybe related to them, it doesn't necessarily have to be related to them, but they feel like overall, like that's your energy that you are trying to heal, that you are trying to move on from any difficulties as well. They think that you're trying to not give so much to other people, you know? They do feel like they won't be able to continue to use you. They think that you're smartening up, getting wiser, and they assume you're starting to see their maybe real intentions. They assume that you can't relate to each other anymore, you know. Uh, they definitely think you're changing, becoming more logical. They assume that You're not being emotional anymore because you don't see yourself as a victim or you don't want to see yourself as a victim. So like you refuse to kind of maybe put yourself in that emotional space, maybe due to someone else, you know. Um, but yeah, they assume that you're no longer bound by the past or obligations when it comes to them. Like say for you know example, you were extremely dedicated to them like regardless of what they did you know you were really dedicated to them maybe protective of them um but now you're not you know or not as much as you were and for some of you if you used to be like a people pleaser for them like they think that you're walking away from that as well overall like they assume you're learning from the past and they think that you're starting to see them as smothering you or could potentially smother you. But yeah, they assume that you aren't restricting yourself or silencing yourself anymore. They assume that you aren't making Sorry, I just saw someone climbing up the side of the building. It was just maybe random. Um, where was he? But yeah, they assume you aren't, you know, maybe silencing yourself anymore. Um, for some of you, like, they really do feel that you aren't making, you know, silly or harmful decisions anymore due to, um, like, being too emotionally invested in something or emotional blockages or insecurities, you know. Um, they feel, they think you've grown and that you've changed a lot overall. All right, so we have Arts and Expert. What does that say on the back? So it says, don't rely on friends or the internet. Listen to a, a professional. We also have Make Better Choices. We have Lottery, Bet on Yourself. We have Shopping. Pay attention to what energizes you. We have Undemanding, we have Quiet, and we also have Fearless. So with this ox an uh, expert, like they feel like you aren't relying on other people, um, maybe them, uh, maybe like society as a larger, you know, thing. Um, but they feel like you aren't really relying on, you know, other people 
to make choices for you and with make better choices um they feel like that's what you're doing like they assume that you are making better choices for yourself For some of you, um, they realize or they assume that they definitely should have had more confidence in you in the past. Um, like, they feel like they should have bet on you, they should have trusted you, they should have maybe seen the positives in you, seen your potential, seen, yeah, your potential for growth. Maybe even, you know, success, talents, I don't know. But um, yeah, they assume that you'll be paying more attention to how their energy or their actions affect you, you know, and they definitely believe you are or you will very soon make changes based on, you know, um, based on the, you know, the past and um, based on their behavior towards you. And because you're making better choices for yourself, you know. So they assume when it comes to them, you are being maybe quiet. They assume that they can't be demanding of you anymore. And they assume that you are kind of entering this kind of very fearless energy. Um, but that is all I have for those of you who chose this group. I do hope it could be helpful, makes sense, and I'm wishing you all the best, okay? Take care. Bye.